Hi everyone, my name is Courtney and I am Fiverr Fox Studios and welcome to Mosaic Monday. Today we are working on our very first pattern for 2022 and that is pattern number 41 right here in the background. We're going to be working in two colors so you need to select two colors of yarn, your favorite crochet hook. If you are interested in the Etsy shop and the chart set, that's all linked down in the description along with everything that I use in the video. I either list it or when available, I link it as well. So any question that you might have, check that description. That'll be your fastest way to get an answer because a lot of the general questions are already covered down there in that description. So we need to grab color A and begin chaining. We're going to be working in a multiple of 28. Plus four, you can work flat or in the round using this same video. It's completely up to you. So grab your favorite crochet hook, two colors of yarn, and we will get started on the tutorial. So we begin by chaining in our multiple of 28 plus four at the end if you're working flat. So you're going to chain 28 over and over as many times as you want. Remember project ideas hook information, all that is down in the description. And if you're wanting to work flat, you will add four chains to the end of that chain count that you come up with. If you are working in the round, you are going to just simply chain in the multiple of 28 over and over, and then you will slip stitch to the first chain you made to form a ring. And then you begin working the repeat given in that same stitch that you slip stitch into. So if you're not ready, just pause the video and meet back up with me so that we can begin row one. Row one is going to begin now and we are going to begin by working in to the second stitch from our hook. We want to work a traditional single crochet into that stitch. So we're going to skip one and move here to the second and we're going to go completely into our stitch. Let's go all the way in. You want to see the V. And then you're going to complete a single crochet just like normal. Now our repeat for row number one begins. That repeat is very simple. We are going to be placing a back loop only single crochet in all of our stitches. When I'm working the repeat, you'll know that all of your repeat stitches, when we're doing a single crochet, we are working only in the back loop. So we're going to go into our stitch picking up one side of that stitch only, and then we do a single crochet, just like normal. So it's the placement of the stitch that makes it mosaic, and we're gonna work one of these single crochets in every stitch on this row. At the end of the row, when we have one stitch left, we'll meet back up. So you're gonna continue to work down your row, placing one single crochet in every stitch, and we'll see each other when you have one stitch left. We are now here at the end of row number one, and as you can see, we have one stitch left. We're going to be working the end of every single row exactly the same. In your final stitch, you will do a traditional single crochet. So you will be working under that V going into the complete stitch, just like you're seeing here. And we finish out our single crochet, just like normal. So that's what we will do at the end of every row. So then from here, you can chain up two and bind off, clipping your yarn. And then we're going to not turn our work and we're going to return back to the start of our row and begin row number two next. Row two begins now and we are working in color B. To begin row number two, we need to be working in color B. So we're going to be adding that onto our hook. 
And at the start of each and every row, we're going to need to join on our new color of yarn exactly the same way. So we return here to the front side of our work to the beginning of the row. And as you can see, because we had a turning chain to turn and begin row number one, we have this little side bump. We want to make sure that we ignore the side bump. It will push down out of your way. We want to make sure we're going here into that first V to begin row number two. So we insert our hook completely into the stitch. So I'm completely in. Make sure that I'm not working in that side little turning chain, that bump. So we're going to work here in the first stitch. Grab color B. So for me, that's the yellow. And we're going to add that onto our hook. And we're going to pull up. We're going to be doing a single crochet here in this first stitch. Get that real quick. So we'll pull through. Now we're going to chain one. I like to grab the working yarn and the tail, but you don't have to. Chain one, and we go back down into the same exact stitch. So we go back into our stitch. And at this point, we can drop that tail out of the way. And we're going to grab our working yarn and pull up a loop. Grab our working yarn again and pull through to complete that traditional single crochet in the very first stitch of every row. So we begin with a traditional single crochet in the first stitch. We end with a traditional single crochet in the last stitch. Now from here, we're going to begin the repeat for row number two. The repeat's very simple. It's exactly the same as row one. We're going to be placing a single crochet in each and every stitch. And remember, we are always working our repeat stitches in the back loop only when we're doing a single crochet. So I'm going to pick up that back loop, pull up and work one single crochet in all of my stitches. Last stitch of the row will just be a traditional single crochet. So you can meet up with me for row three whenever you are ready. Row three begins now and we are working in color A. Our repeat for row number three begins by doing 14 single crochets. So we're going to be working here into this next stitch and we're going to pick up and do one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and number fourteen. Now we will do one double crochet. All of our double crochets will be worked exactly like this when we're working our mosaic. So we are going to identify our next stitch and we slide down two rows below here, picking up this front loop. 
Now we will grab our yarn and pull up a loop. Grab our yarn, pull through two. Grab our yarn, pull through two. So we work laying our stitch over to cover up the color B row to form our shape. So each double crochet that you work will take up one stitch back here on this row. So you can fold this back and you'll see back here, there's one stitch. And when we put our double crochet in place, it covers up that one stitch. Now we're gonna move on with our repeat, which ends by doing 13 single crochets. So working here into this next stitch, we can fold back and check. That covers that stitch. We work here and we begin our 13 single crochets. So here's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So that ends our repeat for row three. So let's recap. Row three's repeat began over here when we did 14 single crochets, one double crochet, and we end the repeat by doing 13 single crochets. So you're going to start back over at the beginning of the repeat and you will begin working 14 single crochets next. And then you will carry on and continue with the double crochet, ending with 13 single crochets. And then we will meet up at the end of your row so I can show you how to work your row end. So you're going to continue to work now. I'm going to do the repeat one more time. So we're going to start over at the beginning of the repeat. So we're going to continue now with a second repeat here on row three. So our repeat for row three begins with 14 single crochets. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. One double crochet. And now we will end the repeat by doing 13 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So that ends our repeat again. So as you can see, once you've worked your repeat, you have a long stretch of single crochets there in the center in my case, because I am doing two repeats wide on this swatch. So now we're going to work our row end. All of your row ends will be worked exactly the same. We restart our repeat for one stitch, and then we put a traditional single crochet in that last stitch. So for row three, our repeat begins with a single crochet. Starts with 14 of them, but we can work one single crochet right here in the next stitch. And then traditional single crochet here in the very last stitch of the row. And then I chain up two and clip my yarn and bind off, which I'll do that real quick. Clip, pull it up, and then I'm going to place my thumb and index right above the two chains that I made, and I'm going to pull up on my tail and cinch down on those chains to form a knot. So I pull up and push down with my fingers. And that makes that little knot right there. So that's how we do that. So now let's zoom up so you guys can see the full two repeats wide. So here we have the swatch. We have two full repeats wide on this particular swatch. So as you can see, when I give you the repeat, you really do start back over at the beginning of the repeat and just work that exact set of stitches all the way down your row. When you get to the end of your row, in this case, because of the way this pattern works out, when you're working flat, you will have to restart the repeat for one stitch and then do your traditional single crochet in the last. What will help guide you on this is whatever we do at the beginning of the row is going to be done again here at the end of the row when working flat. That way, the beginning of our row has 14 single crochets. And now after we complete our row end, our end of our row has 14 single crochets total. So the row beginning and row end will match. When you're working in the round, because our design meets back up as you finish your row, you do not have to add an extra stitch in or restart your repeat for one stitch or do the traditional single crochet because in the round it will work out. It meets up and each design plays off of the last design worked. So you guys working in the round have just a little bit less to do to finish your work. But it's not hard to do, and that is what your work will look like if you have completed two repeats of it and are working flat. So now we are going to move on to row number four. For row four, we are working in color B. Row four begins now, and I have joined on color B. Row four's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. So we wrap. Slide down, picking up that front loop, twenty seven single crochets will end our repeat. So we're going to begin with those now. Remember, you can always fold back that double crochet. One double crochet takes up one stitch. Make sure you're getting into your next stitch because if you get your count off this is likely to be where you make a mistake you accidentally work in the same stitch that the double crochet is actually you know taking up so we're going to begin doing our 27 single crochets so there's one two three 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, and number twenty seven. So that ends our repeat for row number four. So let's recap what we've done. Row four's repeat began by doing one double crochet. And then we end the repeat by working 27 single crochets. So you'll start back over with that double crochet and keep working this exact set of stitches over and over all the way down your row. And then at the end of your row, remember, you will restart the repeat for one stitch and then do a traditional single crochet in the last. So for row four, your row end is going to be a double crochet and then a traditional single crochet. So we'll be back when you're ready for row number five. Row five begins now and we are working in color A. Our repeat for row number five begins by doing one single crochet. One double crochet. Eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine double crochets. So here is number one, Two, three, four.
five, six, seven, There's number eight, and number nine. Now we will work eight single crochets over the next eight stitches. And if you want to make sure that you're not working into the wrong stitch, you can fold back all the double crochets and you should be skipping nine stitches back here for your nine double crochets. So once it's back in place, it's covering up that stitch, begin working here. And we do our eight single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and number eight. Now we will end the repeat by doing one double crochet here in this next stitch. And that ends our repeat for row five. So let's recap what we have done. Row five's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, eight single crochets, nine double crochets, eight single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you'll start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row. We'll meet back up for row number six in just a moment. Row six begins now and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row number six begins with one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, twenty three single crochets, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20, 21, 22, and 23. One double crochet. And we will end the repeat with one single crochet. So let's recap what we have done. Row six begins with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, 23 single crochets all the way across, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So you will start back over at the beginning of the repeat and work this exact set of stitches over and over down your row. We'll be back for row seven in just a moment. Row seven begins now and we are working in color A. Row seven's repeat begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. Three. Three double crochets. One. Two, three, nine single crochets, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Three double crochets. One. Two. And number three. Three single crochets, so one, two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet and we will end with one 
double crochet. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row seven's repeat began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, three double crochets, nine single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. So you will start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row. We'll meet back up for row eight whenever you're ready. Row eight begins now and we are working in color B. Row eight's repeat begins with one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. One double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet. Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet. One single crochet. One 
one double crochet. And we will end with one single crochet worked right here into this next stitch. So now let's recap what we have done. Row number eight's repeat began with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet ends the repeat. So you will start back over and begin working the start of the repeat and work that same exact set of stitches over and over all the way down the row. We'll be back for row nine in just a moment. Row nine begins now and we are working in color A. Row nine's repeat begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One, two, four single crochets, one, two, three, Four, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One. Two. Three, four, two 
double crochets. One. Two. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row nine's repeat began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, and we end with one double crochet. So you'll keep working that exact set of stitches over and over on down the row. We'll be back for row 10 in just a moment. Row 10 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 10's repeat begins with one double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, One, two, three, one double crochet, two single crochets. One and two, one double crochet, three 
four single crochets, one, two, three, and number four. One double crochet, one single crochet, and that ends our repeat. So let's recap it. Row 10's repeat began over here with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, and we end the repeat with one single crochet. So you will start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row. We will be back for row number 11 in just a moment. Row 11 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 11's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet, two double crochets, one, and number two. Three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet, eleven single crochets, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and number three. Two double crochets, one, two, one single crochet, and one double crochet to end our repeat.
So that ends the repeat. Let's recap what we have done. Row 11's repeat began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, 11 single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, and we end with one double crochet. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and begin with that single crochet and continue to work on down your row. We'll be back for row number 12. Row 12 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 12's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. Two. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and number three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. Three. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, one single crochet. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row number 12's repeat began with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, 
one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and then we will end with one single crochet. So you will continue to work that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll be back for the next row in just a moment. Row 13 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 13's repeat begins by doing one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, one, and number two. One single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, 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 one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, one, two, one single crochet, and we will end with one double crochet. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap what we've done. Row 13's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, 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 one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, one single crochet, and we end the repeat with one double crochet. 
So you will start back over and keep working that exact set of stitches over and over and we'll be back when you're ready for our next row. Row 14 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 14 to repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Four single crochets. One. Two. Three. And number four. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and last but not least, number five. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. Four single crochets will end our repeat. One, two, three, and number four. So let's recap what we have done. Row 14's repeat began with one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So keep working that exact set of stitches and meet back up with me for row 15 when you're ready. Row 15 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 15's repeat begins with one single crochet, two double crochets, One and number two. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. One double crochet, one 
one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five. Then you will end your repeat by working two double crochets over the next two stitches. So here's number one, and number two. And that ends the repeat, so let's recap it. Row 15's repeat began with one single crochet, two double crochets, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, and then we end the repeat with the two double crochets. So continue to work that exact set all the way down your row. We'll be back for row 16 in just a moment. Row 16 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 16's repeat began or begins with one double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And number two, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet, three single crochets, 
one, two, and three. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. Two single crochets ends our repeat. One and number two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row 16's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and the end with two single crochets. So continue to work that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll be back for row number 17 next. Row 17 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 17's repeat begins with one single crochet, two double crochets, one, and number two. One single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, and number two. One double crochet, two single crochets, one and number two, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, Two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, and two double crochets to end the repeat. There's one and number two. So that ends our repeat, so let's recap what we've done. Row number 17's repeat began with one single crochet, two double crochets, 
one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, and we end with two double crochets. So continue to work that exact set of stitches and we will be back for row 18. Row 18 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 18's repeat begins by working three single crochets. One, two, and number three. One double crochet. Six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and number six. Two double crochets. One and two. One single crochet. Three double crochets. One, two, three, one single crochet, two double crochets, one, and number two, six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six. One double crochet, two single crochets to end the repeat. So there's one and number two. So that ends the repeat. So let's recap. Row number 18's repeat began with three single crochets, one double crochet, six single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, three double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, six single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So we will be back when you are ready for row 19. Row 19 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 19's repeat begins by working one single crochet. Two double crochets. One and number two. One single crochet. 
one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, and number two, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and number three. One double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one. Two, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet and two double crochets will end our repeat. One and number two. All right, so let's recap what we have done. Row 19's repeat began with one single crochet, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, and we end with two double crochets. So you will continue to work that exact set of stitches down the rest of your row, and we'll be back for row 20. Row 20 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 20's repeat begins with one double crochet, two, single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, three single crochets, two, and three one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, 
three, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, And we'll end with two single crochets. One, two. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap. Row 20's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So continue to work on down your row and meet up with me for row 21 when you're ready. Row 21 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 21's repeat begins with one single crochet. two double crochets, one, two, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, 
one double crochet. Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. And we'll end by working two double crochets. One, two and that ends the repeat so let's recap what we have done row number 21's repeat began back over here with one single crochet two double crochets five single crochets one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, and then we end with two double crochets. So continue to work that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll be back for row 22 next. Row 22 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 22's repeat begins with one double crochet. Four single crochets. One. two, three, four, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and four single crochets to end our repeat. One, two, three, and four. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap. Row number 22's repeat began with one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one 
double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So to continue on down, working the exact repeat, and then meet up with me when you're ready for row 23. Row 23 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 23's repeat begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One. And number two. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet. Two double crochets, one and number two, one single crochet into this next stitch. And then we'll end by doing one double crochet. That ends our repeat, so let's recap what we have done. So, row 23's repeat began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, one single crochet, 
one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, 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 one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, one single crochet, and one double crochet to end that repeat. So keep working this exact set of stitches all the way down your row and meet up when you're ready for row 24. Row 24 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 24's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, And three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one. two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, and one single crochet to end our repeat. So that ends the repeat. Let's recap it. So row 24's repeat began with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and then you end with one single crochet. 
So keep working that exact set of stitches on down your row and meet up with me for row 25 when you're ready. Row 25 begins now. We are working in color A. Row 25's repeat begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One. And number two. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. One double crochet. Eleven single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one. Double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. Three. Two double crochets. One, and number two. One single crochet followed by one double crochet will end our repeat. So we're going to do one single and one double. And that ends the repeat. So let's recap what we have done. So we return back over here and row 25's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, 11 single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, and we end with one double crochet. So continue to work that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll be back in just a moment for row 26. Row 26 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 26 repeat begins with one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Four 
four single crochets. One. Two. Three. And number four. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one. two, and three. One double crochet. Oops. Two single crochets. One. And two. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three. And four. One double crochet. And one single crochet to end the repeat. So now let's recap what we've done. Row 26 repeat begins with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, and one single crochet to end the repeat. So you will work that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll be back when you're ready for row number 27. Row 27 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 27's repeat begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet, two double crochets, 
Here's number one. And two. Four single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One. Two. Three. And four. Two double crochets. One and two. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. And we will end with one double crochet. So that ends the repeat. So let's recap. Row 27's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, and we end with one double crochet. So continue to work that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll be back for row 28. Row 28 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 28's repeat begins with one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, Four, and finally number five. 
one double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and one single crochet to end our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row number 28's repeat began with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet and we end with one single crochet so continue to work on down your row and meet up with me whenever you're ready for row 29. row 29 begins now and we are working in color a row 29's repeat begins by doing one single crochet one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, nine single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and number nine three double crochets one 
two, three, three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. And that ends our repeat, so let's recap what we have done. Row 29's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, three double crochets, nine single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, and we end with one double crochet. So continue to work that set of stitches all the way down your row and meet up with me whenever you are ready for row 30. Row 30 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 30's repeat begins with one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, twenty three single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, one double crochet, one single crochet ends the repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row 30's repeat began with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, 23 single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So begin back at the start of the repeat and keep working on down your row. And meet up with me when you're ready for row number 31.
Row 31 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 31's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. One double crochet. Eight single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine double crochets, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One double crochet will end our repeat. Let's recap what we've done. Row number 31's repeat began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, eight single crochets, nine double crochets, eight single crochets, and it ends with one double crochet. So continue to work that exact set all the way down your row. And we'll be back for row 32 in just a moment. Row 32 begins now and we are working in color B. This is our final row. Row 32's repeat is very simple. We're going to work one double crochet then 27 single crochets and we're going to do that over and over for this repeat so our repeat begins with one double crochet and our repeat ends with 27 single crochets so one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. So that ends our repeat for row 32. So, repeat, recap. Row 32's repeat begins with one double crochet, and it ends with 27 single crochets. So keep working that on down your row, and we're going to meet back up one final time to talk about how you move up and keep repeating this design for a larger project. So here's what your work will look like. This is two repeats wide, one repeat tall, and we have completed row 32, which is our final row. For those of you who are going to work this design for multiple repeats for a larger project, you are going to rewind back to row three, and you will be working rows three through 32 over and over as many times as you like. That will give you a stacked design, and then you will see the secondary pattern exposed once you complete another repeat of it and as you build your workout. When you are finished with this design and you are ending your project or you are going to move on to a new design, something different, and mix this with some other design, your last repeat of this design you will finish row 32, and then I recommend that you go back and work row three as your final row so that your row beginning and the row ends color-wise will be the same and it will look more even. So it will give you an even look to this section in your project or to the entire project if you used only this design. So hopefully you have found this to be helpful and hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much as always for watching and until next time, bye for now.